Welcome to the tutorial, Transfer Windows Mail Data. This tutorial explains how to back up Outlook, Outlook Express or Windows Mail to either Outlook Express, Outlook or Windows Mail on either your computer or a new computer. So that's to say you could be uh, backing up Outlook um, and restoring it to Windows Mail on a new computer or vice versa. So the way we're going to be doing that is with some software and the software we'll be using is the Mailer Sync. Now we can get that by going to www.demailer.com Once you arrive at the website, you just need to download Demailer Sync under software. Um, and save that to a portable uh, flash drive or a portable hard drive or something like that. Here's one I uh, downloaded earlier to save uh, some time on the video. Uh, we've extracted this and now we're just going to double click uh, the Mailer Sync executable to launch the program. Okay, so once that launches, we just need to accept the license agreement after reading it, of course, and click Next. So we're trying the application. So we need to fill out our uh, registration information here. Um, show you. Okay, and register. Okay, so now we can choose a profile name and we need to add a minimum four letter password. Just going to do that quickly. Um, as well, from uh, we can use the number pad on the side. Uh, you can add a password hint or add lost and found information in case you lose your device and someone finds it. Um, okay, now as you can see up the top here, we have Outlook, Windows Mail, um, and Exchange. If you, you have Outlook Express, uh, you you will see that instead of uh, Windows Mail. This is the difference between uh, Windows Vista and Windows XP, uh, but it is compatible with both. I see Windows Mail because I'm running on Vista. So for this uh, exercise, we're going to be using Outlook. Okay, and we're going to configure some of the advanced settings here as well. The reason I want to show you this is some people may only want to back up their contacts um, or their calendar tasks and notes. If that's the case for you, uh, you just need to unselect all the other items you see here and just leave the field you want, so contacts or so. Um, I'm going to be doing email, emails and contacts for this exercise. Okay, excellent. Now we can also take uh, files, but we're not going to do that in this exercise. And we can also copy over or synchronize our Firefox and Internet Explorer bookmarks. We won't be doing that for this exercise, nor will we take the wallpaper. Okay, and then we click Next. We also have the option to synchronize uh, and install Skype to our portable device. We won't be doing that again today. Excellent. And then skip and the synchronization will begin. So now what's happening is we're synchronizing all our Outlook data to our USB key so we can transfer that uh, to another computer afterwards. Okay, now that that's opened up, we're actually going to close it uh, to simulate if you were moving to another computer. So if you did want to transfer it to another computer, you would uh, take your USB device out um, and go to the computer, connect your USB device, and this is what you would see from uh, when you open your drive. So from here, we're going to launch the Mailer Sync uh, again, as if we were on another computer. Okay, and once that opens, we're going to need to log in uh, with the password we created before, nice and quickly. It's going to, of course, synchronize again. It won't do this if you're on another computer. You'll need to create a new profile to open that. Okay, 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to first we're going to take a look at some of our items that we synchronized earlier. So if we click down here under emails we can see a full list of our emails um, and we can go to our contacts here or down here um, and we'll see all of our contacts uh, down here. Likewise with calendar, task notes, any information uh, that you synchronize will all be here. So what we're going to do now is restore the data. We do this by clicking the restore button here at the top of the screen and copy Outlook data. Okay, so we don't have to restore everything uh, if we wanted to just uh, take everything but our contacts or whatever. Uh, I'll be removing deleted items and drafts to show an example. Click OK. Now we're presented with the choice to restore to either Windows Mail or Outlook Express depending the version of operating system you're running or Outlook. So we took this from Outlook so we're going to take the opportunity and migrate this data over to Windows Mail. We do that click OK. OK and we can see that that's complete and being copied over. Excellent. So now we can open up our Windows Mail um, and we'll be able to see our old items from uh, Outlook within that client. Now while you're here, it, uh, you may like to make a backup of uh, your Outlook data in case uh, you lose it or, or something. This is often uh, a good strategy would be to back it up online. So within Dmailer Sync you have an online uh, storage service um, which allows you to back up files from your computer and store them on a remote storage server. So we can do that from under the Dmailer online tab. If you need uh, help uh, or would like to see a video on that, there is a video available which you can find in my profile on YouTube. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.